Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my drugstore haul. Um, I think most of this stuff is from Watson's. Yeah, they're from Watson's. They're so my Watson's haul. Yay! <laughs> so I got a couple of cool things. Um, they are mostly from the Watson's at uh, Nian City. I think they kind of reopened, especially their cosmetics area. It's and got lots of cool brands down there like Australis they and Wet and Wild is there. They kind of bumped up their, um, their essence store kind of looks a little bit sad. They haven't really been replenishing or restocking it. I don't know why but got a lot of cool new stuff and I got them and I want to show it to you. Lots of good lip products and these are actually featured in my um, December favorites already because I've worn them non-stop. Uh, my personal favorites uh, is a tie between uh, some new ones from Australis and some from Maybelline. So let's talk about the Australis ones. They are these velour lips and I've Instagrammed th about them tons and they look like this. Let me align them. They look like this. Um, these are the three colors that I picked out. I absolutely love them. They are matte lip creams. And this one is in Shanghai. This is in um, Dubai. And this is Budapest. So they've kind of gotten me on the bandwagon of wearing like red lips. And I have Budapest on my lips at the moment. It's very, I don't know, it's very creamy. It's very easy to wear. You do need to wear a lip liner before that because they do tend to bleed out of your lips if you don't. But just find a really Really good nice red lip liner and rock it because they are really really freaking awesome I love them so much they kind of um, apply on as matte and they just set on your lips and they don't have that dry feeling texture whatsoever so I really like those and they're affordable I think they're definitely less than 15 bucks thereabouts okay the next items are from Maybelline and I also picked up a couple of colors these are the lip gradation uh, color sensational lip gradation products and these are the three colors that I picked out this is in fuchsia red as well as mauve so these are awesome if you guys want to see swatches of these two products I have done them on my December favorites so go check that video out I'll link it in the description box down below um, but these are freaking awesome they look like crayons they are really kind of similar to your Colourpop lipsticks so they just come in with a cap like that and they come in like that it's very mousse like and it's just really really comfortable to wear very long lasting as well so I absolutely love this I like if they came up with new colors for these two ranges I'll definitely grab it up um, there are a couple more lip products that I got that you know didn't really meet the mark um, these are two the first one is this wet and wild mega last and this is the color it's bright uh, fuchsia bright pink um, and this I got it because I've heard a lot of good things about wet and wild lip products. I didn't realize that they were referring to the lipsticks. It's actually uh, this product. No, I don't recommend it at all. It's kind of like paint. I'm going to swatch it for you just because, you know, the things I do for YouTube, right? So this is how it swatches on. It's very, very pretty. Don't get me wrong. Mm, I got some on my nose probably. <laughs> um, it has a nice uh, pleasant scent and it's called the Rouge Liquid Lipstick. This is in um, number E932, E923A um, mm -hmm. and it looks really really pretty but it sets and after that your lips would feel really dry. Um, when you stretch your lips, when you talk a lot like me, mm -hmm. uh, start feeling the cracks between your lips lips it's just not really nice so it's kind of semi matte right now but I'll give it a bit and you guys will see that it will not budge anywhere it was really difficult to take off after you swatch you have to use like a cleansing oil and all that stuff so even when you put it on your lips um, you realize that it's really hard for you to remove it once you have it on as well so um, you know it's just not really nice to wear basically that's it wow. I don't really recommend this one um, the other one that I got is from Essence because I just wanted to try something out from Essence and this is their new um, the liquid lipstick so it looks like this it kind of uh, reminds me of the Maybelline like you know design that they have right there you know the quality of it is like it smells amazing. It smells like candy. And this is in number Casanova, number six. No, sorry. It's in number six, make a statement, Casanova. So this is how it looks like. And that's how it's swatched on. It's all right. I mean, I would still continue to use this. It's just not my favorite, kind of because it's a little bit glossy. So I still use this quite a bit to work. You do need um, a proper lip liner for this as well. All right. But not really my favorite. So that's that. Um, because of the fail of the the 
mega last wet and wild. Oh, okay, it has set now. So you see, this is how it looks like when it's set. I mean, in a way, it's amazing that it doesn't budge. Oh my god, if I saw this on Instagram, I'll be like, oh yeah, I gotta get that. But on the lips, it will be completely different. You don't want something like this on your lips. It's a little bit sticky, it's a little bit tacky at the same time. Um, and it just doesn't leave any room for your lips to like move around and you just can't talk, basically. Okay, so because of the fail that I had with the wet and wild colours, I decided to try the lipsticks because I posted on Instagram and my friend Aisha was saying that the lipsticks are amazing. So two and they are kind of from different ranges. This is how they both look like. So they look a little bit different from one another. This is in the colour In The Flesh and it's a really really nice nude right there. And the other one is a dark red wine because I'm into dark wines now. And this really is really pretty. This is in a color blind date. And it looks gorgeous. So those are the two colors. And they don't really much have much of a scent on it. So I'm really excited too. Ooh, this looks so pretty. I'm really excited to try these out. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to see swatches of this. So speaking of wet and wild, I finally got my very first wet and wild um, eyeshadow palette. And it's this one. It's the color icon. I don't know. What's it called? So it's a wet and wild color icon. And oh, I think the, the palette itself is called color icon. And this one is in the shade petal plush, plusher. That's all plusher and it's got really really nice shade. This was literally the last one that I saw. They do have some really nice ones that are a little bit more green based um, and one that has really nice neon colours. But this is the Petal Pusher. Petal Pusher? I think. Petal Pusher. <laughs> Petal Pusher palette. And this is how it looks like. It's really pretty. I can't go wrong with purple on my eyes. It goes pretty well with my skin colour. And I do have it on my lids at the moment. It's really nice. So they do have different descriptions of where the products should go. Like it says definer, crease, eyelid and um, brow bone. But actually you can just use them wherever you want to use them. So I have this on my crease at the moment. I have this on my outer definer and I have this on my eyelid. So that's the look that I was able to create with it. And I think it's quite decent. It's really, really nice, isn't it? If you guys want me to do a tutorial on this, let me know because um, it's really good to find like a good drugstore uh, palette to use. So. This item is quite exciting. It is my first contour and highlight kit and it's from... Australis. I wanted to try something like this and it wasn't expensive. It was like $25 which I thought was really good. It comes in a proper box like this so it even makes a really nice gift. Um, the only thing is that I didn't read uh, and it says that it's for light complexion. So I don't know if they actually had stuff for darker complexion so I'm not going to use this yet. Um, if they do have it, I'm going to get the darker one and I'm going to use this and keep it for a gift or something. But this is how it looks like. It looks really really pretty. Um, very nicely done and it has got steps and how you can actually use them. Opening it up, it's a proper palette like it's really hardcore and sturdy and it comes with a proper size mirror there as well which is awesome a little lump here and this is how the uh, contouring palette looks like let me just show you it opens up all the way too which is great so this is how it looks like it looks pretty okay i think even for myself i think i'm able to get away with this if they don't have anything from for darker skin except for this one which has a little bit of shimmer which you can use as a pretty highlight the rest are pretty matte last so few products are related to nail products i got a kind of a nail remover set from silky girl i've never tried this or have i i don't know but it comes in two and it's called cute nails nail remover so it's just a really nice nail remover um this is for extra strength so i decided to pick that up because i was running out of nail polish remover and i picked out two uh, nail polishes. The first one I got is in the color Midnight and it's a really gorgeous dark blue color which is perfect you know for work and all that. So and this next one is gorgeous. This is from Sally Hansen. It's called Spice Age. This is how it looks like. It's amazing isn't it? It's like a very bronze teal color. This is a color that I definitely do not have and I'm really excited to use this. But yeah I think that's pretty much it of what I've got. I enjoyed this little haul and then do don't forget to click on the thumbs up button and subscribe. Till I see you guys later. Bye!